Okay, today we're going to be disassembling a um, Smith & Wesson um, model uh, uh, <laughs> it's a model 50 it is a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum from the Performance Center now I can't get the whole thing in the in the screen but it is a monster gun it's got a 10 and three quarter in, uh, 10 and a half inch uh, barrel plus a compensator it's on the Smith & Wesson X frame uh, we're going to be disassembling this. Um, the customer wants gold-plated hammer. Um, I call it the accessories. Hammer, trigger, the cylinder release, and the compensator. Um, so, I, I need to take the gun completely apart to get access to these three pieces. Uh, so, while we're doing that, I'm going to video it and share it with you. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take off the grip. So um, I'm going to use a parallel screwdriver um, from Brownells. First thing I got to do is make sure it's empty. It is. It is empty. So on the bottom there is a screw. So stick your screwdriver in and take it out. Pull the grip off. This piece right here, um, you can take it off or leave it on, whichever one you prefer. Uh, if you want to take it off, you can just pull it a little bit on either, either side and boom, it falls off. Um, this is a pin that can be uh, driven out if you like. Um, that's just where the screw goes on for the grip. Okay, now we're going to take the cylinder out. And the way you do that is on the right hand side of the pistol right here there is a screw. I need a smaller bit so I don't scratch the finish. Uh, you want to use a parallel uh, parallel blade on your screwdriver so that you don't uh, burr the, the screw a lot of people call those gunsmith uh, screwdrivers. When you pull the screw out, it is a strange screw. It, um, it has three pieces. Um, there is a pin. Inside here there is a spring. And then the, the, the screw is actually hollow. You want to keep those three pieces together. Um, the way I keep them together is I wrap a piece of tape around them. Um, that way you don't lose that pin and that um, spring. Now turn the pistol over, push on the release, cylinder release, and slide forward. When you slide forward, the uh, cylinder will come out. Monster cylinder. Um, uh, okay. To take these pieces apart, you, you're going to unscrew this piece, slide it off, and uh, then there'll be a pin inside. Uh, that pin, to get that out, you have to put it in a vise and pull it off. I don't have to take any of this apart, but remember, this is the piece that you unscrew and crane comes off. There's a little piece that slides back and forth, and um, this whole piece comes out. This piece on the other side will have a bar that's inside here with a spring, and that's the part that needs to be stuck in a padded vise to... Um, needs to be stuck in a padded vise to... Uh, take that apart. I'm going to set that aside. Okay. Okay. Um, so the next piece to take off is going to be the faceplate. 
Uh, on the faceplate, there are three screws. One, two, three. Um, my same screwdriver fits it, so I'm going to pull these screws out real quick. And then we need to pop this faceplate. Um, now, when you do this, um, I, I just use a screwdriver to do it or, or a punch. Um, a lot of people have a problem with that because it might scratch the, in, the inside. Um, I have never really um, worried about the inside being scratched. Uh, but if the customer doesn't want it inside scratched, or if, if you don't want to scratch it, then you need to figure out some way to pry that up. Um, I, it, it takes quite a bit of prying, so... Um, you are taking a risk it of, of scratching it on the inside. And see right here, there's a little bit of a mark, but I've never seen that uh, be uh, an issue uh, on, a, on a pistol. So the face plate is now off. Okay, uh, I need the trigger and hammer. So to get that off, I'm gonna have to pull several pieces out. Um, first thing I need to do is pull this hammer back a little bit so I can release this piece. Set it aside. It just pull, pulls off. You need to pull it back a little bit so it's so not The next thing we're going to take out is the mainspring. Here on the front of the grip is a screw. Helps if you have the right bit size. And you need to take the screw out. And when you get the screw completely out, the tension will be off the mainspring. Okay, so now we can push the mainspring out the side and it comes off this little stirrup. The stirrup can now come off. And now, you should be able to get that. So you hammer pull off. the cylinder release back. That allows you to pull the hammer back. We need to pull the trigger back a little bit. The hammer should lift out. So the hammer comes out. Okay, now part of this hammer is another piece right here. It has a spring with it. That piece just slides right out. But when you do it, don't lose the spring. If you don't have to take it apart, don't. But if you're going to take it apart, there is a spring there. I have to take it apart because we're going to go plate the we're going to go plate the hammer.
so it just slides right out and watch out for this little spring on the front once again I'm going to put a piece of tape around it so I don't lose the spring in the part and that's the hammer removed okay the next thing to do is to remove the um, the double action slide and you do that by prying up on it now watch out it's got a spring in there that's under tension mm. and it'll hit your finger or go flying across the room so be careful not to lose that there there it is okay some of them have a little pin in there too some models um, this one doesn't have one um, it, it's actually part of the trigger some of them have it inside um, so that needs to get set aside now the trigger mechanism um, the, the cylinder hand that rotates the the cylinder needs to come back and it's on a little pin so it, it what you need to do is you need to grab it and the trigger and pull up inside there is a little piece that looks like a hammer let me get it out looks like a little hammer and there is a spring that spring's going to come out when I pull this out. This has two bars on it. And the spring for it is actually inside. And it's a little coiled spring. Okay. And there's the hammer. I mean the uh, trigger. Okay. Um, there's a couple more pieces for this. One is the um, the cylinder hand, which is right here. I mean the cylinder lock. It's right here. It has a spring right here. It slides straight off. I don't have to take it out, so I'm not going to. But this is the this is the post it's on. And it sticks through the bottom of the frame, and there is a spring right there. You just pull it straight up, and springs there. Uh, this piece right here is part of the cylinder release. And what you do to get it off is you take the screw out. Now this is a really odd screw as well. Um, it's just a screw head that's threaded. Okay, on the other side, there it, it is a it's a long post, and there's a spring related it to it as well. The spring is actually inside, so there's a little hole in the end, and then there's this pin, and the small part of the pin. The small part of the pin slides onto the spring, and then the spring goes in that hole. So that's how that goes back together. Okay. Um, the firing pin can be pulled out if you have to. I wouldn't do it if, if you don't have to. This piece right here requires a special tool uh, from... Uh, Smith & Wesson, I don't need to pull it out, but you just use the special tool to turn it and it pops out with its spring. Um, up here uh, on the front, there's a little catch pin here that, that can come out. Sight on the top, there's two screws, there's a spring under this one. If you need to take off the front sight, um, many of them 
have two pins here. You pop the two pins out and then you can drive the uh, sight. This is actually a uh, performance center um, and it is dovetailed so you need a special dovetail uh, sight remover. I don't need to pull that. The last thing I need to pull is actually the um, compensator. But I'm going to put the faceplate back on it to keep the, these other two springs in place until I'm ready to put the, the pistol back together. So I'm putting the, uh, the faceplate back on. So the last thing to do is take this compensator off. Okay, um, I left one part out and I wanted to cover it real quick. Uh, there is a compensator here that has a reverse screw, so you need to unscrew it backwards and when you do that this whole barrel shroud comes off and that's the last part of pulling this this uh, pistol apart so turn the um, compensator backwards it's a reverse screw and watch out for this shroud if you're holding the shroud you're going to drop the pistol so, um, and I'll show you that when we do the assembly video. Um, if you need any engraving uh, or, or gold or plating, silver plating, please uh, contact me, uh, Jerry Bethard at bethardengraving.com, and uh, I'll be glad to help you.